In a regular stand-up martial arts class, I would start the hip mobility drills by circling the hips. Put your hands on your hips and then start to circle as if you would be standing inside of a barrel. Imagine you try to touch the inside of the barrel at all times. Try to feel uh, the quality of your circle. Which parts of the circle feel smooth and which parts of the circle are rather sticky. Work on those sticky parts a little longer until you switch to the next exercise. Now I place my weight on one foot and I start to circle with my other foot in front of my body from the inside to the outside. At the same time, I also circle my whole leg, first to the side of my body and then to the back. Usually the quality of your circle changes a lot once you move behind your body. I guess that's rather normal. And you repeat this circle for at least two times. Circling to the outside with your foot and to the outside with your leg. And once you hit the back, you circle from the outside to the inside and also move your leg back to the front of your body to change legs. Do the same exercise on the other side and at the same time also focus on your stabilizing leg. Try to let your weight drop through the center of your, um, of your sole into the ground. Try to maintain balance on one foot while circling with the other one. As in the exercise before, you can always focus a little longer on the sticky parts of this movement. In the next exercise, I again stand on one foot and then I start to circle my whole leg in a big circle in front of my body and a smaller circle in the back. Try to find your balance on one foot while at the same time having a very loose swinging leg. In fact, you're drawing an eight, a figure eight on the ground. When you kick to the inside, your toes are also pointing towards the inside. And when you lift the leg to the outside, your toes are also pointing towards the outside of the circle. Let go of the tension in your shoulders and your arms to maintain balance. In the last exercise, you put your foot in the to the back of your other leg and then you fold forward from the hips trying to touch the ground with your fingers. In this exercise the main focus is in keeping alignment in your spine. Imagine somebody is pulling you upwards from the crown of your head and try to feel this pull from the upright position until you touch the ground. If you cannot touch the ground, it doesn't matter. More important is the um, continuous sensation of an extended spine. Now change legs. Open your hip to one side and then fold from the hips. It helps a lot to focus just on the rotation inside of your hip instead of focusing forward to the ground you will find you get a lot of more a lot more stability and balance if you just focus on the rotation inside of your hip and not so much on touching the ground <laughs>